Hi, my name is Greg and I'm going to show you briefly how to use Advoice Allowed Reader, my new product, to listen to web pages, articles from news reading apps, long emails and so on. The great quality of text-to-speech voices you will hear in these tutorials are courtesy of Acapella TTS, available for you to download from Google Play Store. When you first start Advoice, Advoice allow reader. Brief usage instructions. it will introduce itself with Brief Usage Instructions, a text window where all the text is displayed. You can move this window up and down. You can double tap any sentence to highlight it and start speech from there. In many news reading apps you may either click, share or send by email, menu widen or button. Or you can go to previous next sentence with these buttons. You also have this expand control panel button and hide it back. And here you can control the text to speech rate, pitch and volume. Let's try for the fun of it, set a maximum rate and a much higher pitch and see what happens. Pretty crazy, right? Let's reset it to the defaults. To activate. Okay, let's hide it. And let's look at the menu which the program presents. In Android version 4, you have the menu at the top, a row of icons. And whatever does not fit into this row can be accessed from these three dots, some more functions. If you are using Advoice on Android version 2, like Gingerbread or Froyo, it will not have this top bar with the menu. You need to simply press the hardware menu button and access the menu at the bottom where you have the same functions. And whatever does not fit is under more. Back on Android version 4, let's look what functions are available at voice menu. Here is a save button with which you can save currently open text for later reading or listening. And one of the most interesting functions is the reading list. After you save several articles, you have a list which you can uh, order what, uh, in whatever way you want. Select an article and listen to it. Instagram denies having right to sell users for... And whenever the article ends, the program will progress to the next article on the list, like right now I'm on the last sentence. Instagram now has 100 million users. Article 3 of 5. Japan faces up to China's long shadow. You see that we just skipped to the next article on the list automatically. You can also switch to the next or previous article by swiping horizontally. Prosecutors clarify offensive online post law. Japan faces up to China's long shadow. Or if you are listening through a Bluetooth headset and your phone is hidden in your pocket, you can simply long press the previous or next button on your headset, set, press it for, uh, for about one second, and then it will skip to the next or previous article. Let's look briefly at the other functions you have available on Advoice menu. You can open any text or HTML file from the file system of your device. This function we'll discuss later. You have help. Set language is interesting. You can choose from all the available languages that you have installed for your text-to-speech engine. And right now I'm using English United States Heather voice. Uh, if you want to listen to Will, for example, hear it, here he is. Japan faces up to China's long shadow. By Rupert Wingfield Hayes, BBC News, Tokyo. Or you can keep our auto select language setting, which will automatically recognize if your text is in English or in Russian or German or whatever and automatically use the correct voice, which we will show later. Another option appears at a voice menu if we copy some text 
from another application. Let's copy text from my email. You need to long press text first in Android version for email. Choose select all, then copy icon. Now we will go to add voice again. Click the menu and see you have paste text option here. Click it. The Daily Insider Friday, January 11, 2000. And that way you can listen to your email or you could save this email to your reading list to listen later. Thank you.